Hi, welcome to Breakboard Sessions. Today we're going to talk about why you would not want to use your audio interface in 96k or above. Okay, so a little backstory to this whole situation is that, as some of you may know, I recently moved into a new apartment and uh, I kind of plan to um, make some sort of home setup here so I can do some of my work from home. I've done that before, but then I've just been using headphones and sitting around at like the kitchen table and stuff like that. And I would like to have a more permanent setup uh, with speakers that I can trust for some minor work. I was thinking a little bit about what kind of audio interface I would use. I actually have an Onyx Blackbird from Mackie uh, lying in some storage. Uh, they sort of stopped updating the drivers for it uh, a couple of years ago, so I couldn't use it anymore back then. I used to have it as like a mobile rig to re do recordings in different rehearsal spaces or live recordings and stuff. But I don't, I'm not sure why, but I kind of ended up on Mac Mac's homepage and I just found out that they made new drivers for it that works together with Mac OS Sierra and uh, stuff like that. So I thought I would download it and try it out on my... Uh, on my MacBook and surely it works like a charm. I have been thinking about having some sort of um, analog summing stuff. So I have been uh, thinking about uh, like going for a higher bitrate. I usually work in 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, it's just when I'm used to it works for me and uh, I don't feel like there is any big loss. But if I'm gonna send a signal out and back through analog gear, that might, there might be a benefit of having a higher sample rate. If it can be done, why not do it, right? And that's where the question starts today, because I was listening to The Mastering Show by Ian Shepard. Um, one of the earlier episodes, he was talking about some audio interfaces, even if they are specced at working at 96 kilohertz or even higher there might be some issues with doing that. And that's the reason by when, when people say they can really hear the difference between 44.1 uh, or 48 kilohertz, uh, between that and higher bit rates like 88, 96 or 192, there can actually be that it's, there is a difference, but it's definitely not better. There could actually be something called intermodulation uh, distortion. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but basically a lot of interfaces can handle the AD and DA conversion in 96 kilohertz or above, but there could be other components in the signal chain that cannot actually handle those high frequencies. And the side effect of that is some really nasty noises uh, and distortion in the sound, which could possibly fool someone into thinking they hear more details in that higher bitrate than uh, in lower bitrate. But what it actually is, is just distortion and uh, artifacts. So I thought we we're gonna try out this Onyx uh, Blackbird interface today and see if it can handle the higher bit rates that it's spec for. And uh, just for fun uh, comparison, we're also gonna compare it with the built-in audio interface in my MacBook Pro. Ian Shepard has a blog post on production advice where he uh, provides some uh, audio files that you can test your system with. There are both some files for 96 kilohertz and also 192 kilohertz. So you just load those audio files into your DAW. Make sure that your system is uh, running in the sample rate you want to check. So first here we have a look at the Onyx Blackbird interface. There is no way to export this. I'm just going to put the microphone into um, my headphones and you can hear what's going on there. And according to Ian Shepard, this is supposed to be totally quiet if your system works properly at the specific sample rate. When I'm listening to this at normal volume, I don't hear much, but when turning up the volume, there, there's definitely a lot of artifacts, uh, clicks, hiss and tones going on. And now we can have a look at how it works when you have the headphones connected straight into the MacBook Pro and using the internal audio interface.
That's dead quiet. It's actually kind of surprising. I know that Ian said in his blog post that his MacBook didn't work very well with this, but it could be an older MacBook or something. I'm not sure. But one thing I noticed was when I don't use the headphones, but play the sound through the speakers of the MacBook, it can definitely not handle it. So there must be something else going on in the signal chain there when you go through the speakers instead of headphones. So be sure to head over to, uh, to productionadvice.co.uk, uh, the link is in the description and download those test files and see if your audio interface can handle the sample rates that you wish to work in. And uh, I hope for you that it will. Uh, I will just keep on working in 44.1 or 48. Thank you so much for watching and see you again next week. Bye bye, cheers.